What's going on YouTube? And today I have a very, very, very special blaster. This is probably going to be, has, will be the biggest blaster on this channel so far. Biggest custom blaster that is. Anyway, yes. <clears throat> so, um, uh, in this video I will have compiled footage by uh, some of the making of this uh, gun. I don't want to do all of it because this would lead up to like a 20 or 30 minute video if I put all the footage of what I had done into it. Um, but yeah. Um, it's pretty. It's a pretty nice gun, and I think I may think about selling it for a good amount of money. Um, so anyway, yeah. Um, so I, in my other video, I gave you a few hints of what it is. So anyway, I'll just show you what I started with here. This is the gun that I started with. This is a Tommy Mech 20. It's an older Busby gun of the Tommy of the uh, automatic Tommy 20. Um, but the thing with this one is, you turn it on. And it's a semi-auto. The uh, Tommy 20 is a full auto. And I uh, favored this one just so I don't have to like miss a bullet or two every few rounds of shots. So I favored this. Um, and I like, I just like the design of it because it looks kind of interesting in ways. Because not all of them look like this. And it has this cool little stock on it. It'll snap in place like this. And stay like that. But I did notice this was a little too short for me. It it's just doesn't feel right to me. And so I wanted to make a few adjustments to this blaster. Um, the battery hatch is right here. And so, so this is what I started with. Now I'm going to show you what I did to it during the making of it. So watch that. Okay, so what I've done here is I've screwed the whole thing apart. There are the screws. Um, one key thing you have to remember... <coughs> First you have to, um, probably you should screw the butt of the stock off these two pieces. And then I think this will come off. Yeah. And then you unscrew the whole body. Just remember that if you do have this blaster, blaster and decide to do this mod. Um, yeah, so here are the internals. I've done a few cut little things. Nothing on this side of the shell. Um, here's the trigger. Uh, works just fine. So um, I don't think I'm going to have to tinker with this uh, side at all. Except for a few little minor things. Um, all I'm really going to do on this side is uh, remove the trigger guard. Um, and let's see what else. Um, I might decide to put a rail attachment for nerf guns in here. Or I just might put sights. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. The last thing I might do is cut off like right here. Because I might decide to put a stock on it. But I might not. If I don't, yeah, I'm just going to cut off right here. So it will be like a pistol type thing um yeah but on this side i think i've done a little more to it um i plan to cut off here if i um yeah so I'll, i'm gonna cut off here and uh what i've done here is um there used to be some metal plates here where the wires were connected just to the battery tray and uh this black wire right here uh had this uh resistor or whatever this is on it so i just decided to solder that off um Eventually what I'm going to do is uh, put this 9 volt on. I'll probably put that in the title is what I'm going to do in this mod. Um, yeah, so let me flip it over. Yeah, so what I'm going to do next is uh, all these little parts right here. I'm going to um, Dremel out with my Dremel. And so this uh, 9 volt will be able to fit in here like this with the help of some E-tape. Um, yeah, but I'm not going to... I'm not gonna uh, glue that in there though. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna glue it in there yet because um, let me show you something. If I have my um, excuse me, nine volt connector run through here, like it's through here, but the wires are coming through here and here, then um, I won't be able to take these out. Which I'm gonna just uh, take everything out so I can paint the thing. Yeah, so I won't be able to take this out, so I'm just gonna wait until I paint it, then I'll install that. Um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do next, I already told you I'm gonna like, um, soft this, cut these out, soft that, and lastly, um, I'm gonna broaden, let me, let me show you here, I'll just show you on this one. Um, right here where the flywheels are, it's kinda narrow for nerf darts, not really, but, um, I'm going to open that up a little more because it's, yeah, like I said, kind of narrow. And I don't want darts to jam because it could be kind of hard for them to unjam with, with this flywheel. Plus, I might still have part of this on it. Um, also, what I plan to do is um, 
Maybe. I've heard that if you boil it, this part will come off. And so, yeah, what I plan to do is just like cut this off till there's only a ring there because I really don't want this big bulky piece on the front of my blaster. All right, guys, here's one half of the shell. Um, I've done all the mods I've said I would to it. I um, made this a little wider and this a little wider so it accepts nerf darts better. And then I cut off some of the stock um, so I can put a little coupler in here and make a stock for it. Like an actual PVC stock, it's stronger. And I've, um, let's see what else I do. Got rid of the trigger guard. You can't see on this piece because this isn't the one with the trigger guard. But that's what I've done. Sorry about that interruption, guys. Anyway, yes, that is my cat right there. So just ignore it and try and watch what I'm doing here. Anyway, yeah, so as I was saying, I, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I cut off the trigger guard, but that was on the other piece of the shell. I'm just doing this piece because the thing took forever to sand. So yeah, before I mention, just as I said, you have to sand this, sand your pieces before you um, um, paint them, unless you have like a bonder that like automatically bonds, you know, if you do it, because the gloss will keep it from bonding to the plastic. So yeah, uh, so what I've done is I've sanded this whole thing down, and I've also, um, then I washed it to get all the loose particles off. So it's pretty much clean right now and ready to paint. Um, I'm going to be painting it with this. This is Krylon Fusion Gloss. Um, if you're going to paint with Krylon, you got to have Krylon Fusion because this is the stuff that bonds to the plastic. Um, and, yeah. So what I'm going to do is probably paint the inside first. I don't know how well that's going to work because I didn't sand the inside. But I'll just see. I might do two, probably just two layers. I'll wait a little bit and do the next one. So, here's one half of the shell. I'm going to start painting it. You always want to have a little protector on the ground so you don't have paint on your ground for a few days. Uh, my parents don't really mind, but I just... Nice that way. Anyway, so what you want to do is do clean sweeps back and forth going past. You may waste a little paint that way. Sorry about that interruption, guys. I saw this little piece on this side. It's the screw port and it's metal so I didn't want to paint that so I just put a little piece of tape over it during the break. Anyway, so here I go. Always spray a little bit down here to make sure it's spraying good. Yeah, so here we go. Not going to work too much on getting the inside. I think that's good for right now. Um, yeah, so I did the inside layer. That's good for now. There's a little spot on this too. Let me do that. Always keep your hand moving when you're spraying or the uh, paint will collect in one place and it'll look really sloppy. So yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm going to let that dry for a minute and then I'll flip it over and do the other side. Alright guys, I think it's been long enough so I'm going to do this uh, next one here. Do the other side. Go do it just like the last, the other side, just like I did. It looks like, yeah. Looks like I might not do another layer, but if I decide to, I will. But um, the next part will probably be me showing you the uh, painting the cylinder and the hatch door. So, yeah. Okay, guys, here I am outside again. I'm about to paint the drum. I masked off what I need to not paint. This is what I'm going to paint it with. This satin kind of brownish, light brownish uh, color. It's fusion for plastic just like the other one. Anyway, yeah, so I bounced that off. Uh, this may be a little more difficult to paint because it's got, uh, it's round and it's not just flat on both sides. So, it may be a little more difficult, but we'll just see how it goes. I think I'm going to give it two coats again like the other one. It just depends on how dark this turns out to be. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start. <laughs> Alright, 
So um, that's going to be my first layer for now, I guess, on that slide. I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes, then I'll come back out here, turn it over, and do the inside part of it. All right, guys, I'm out here again. I'm going to do the underside of it. Same thing. Same paint, same everything. It's just the underside. Got it. Uh, the coffee, coffee mug here. Take the towel around. So here you go. So I'm gonna do for now. Um, next, next you see will be the detailing painting. Um, yeah. So. All right, y'all. So I've uh, finished uh, painting this and the flywheel. So now I'm gonna do some details on the body. What I've got here is um, some test doors acrylic. Uh, this is what's gonna match the. Um, the drum and the stock when I attach it so yeah I'm gonna paint with this and I got just my paint thinner here I'm gonna have to be really careful because I don't have any masking or anything on this so if I mess up I'm just gonna have to I don't know I don't know what I'll do so I'll just do my best okay sorry about that guys I had to shake this thing up and get it open so yeah so I'm opening it and I'm just gonna paint it straight with my little tiny detail brush here right here so I'm going to be very careful and I'll just paint whatever I feel like I guess because there's a lot of little protruding details that I could do so I'm going to go ahead and start. Always want to have paint thinner on hand in case you make a mess or something like that. I'm just going to start with these. Just get it pretty good I guess. Might even have to put two layers on here if your paint's not thick enough. You really don't have to use that much paint either. It's just little bitty things. Not much at all like when you're using the spray paint. That's completely different. Yeah, so now that you've seen the all the way into this blaster, now it's time to finally reveal what I've been working on for about the past three months. So, here it is. Yes, I know, it's pretty amazing. Anyway, this, I decided to name it the Redwood. It is the Redwood. Um, I just decided to name it that because it kind of sounds good, it's kind of got a ring to it, and it uh, matches the color Redwood. This is kind of a... Uh, uh, satiny like brown uh, it's about like cream brown you know it's about cream brown color and all of this and some of the detailing work is also cream brown um, yeah I'll just call it that because I don't know the technical name this is a uh, red well all, both of these are gloss this is gloss this is gloss these two are gloss and then this is a uh, gloss fire red I believe that's what it's called um, I did that to the stock on here. I'll get to this in a minute, but yeah, so I painted it all up one thing I, Yes, one thing I forgot to mention. Yeah, I did uh, Cut off the ring around it does look a little sloppy around the edges on here But I didn't want to have this big bulky thing on the front of my uh, supposed to be sleek blaster um, It is pretty sleek looking it is a little weird with the stock on it, but yeah Because um, if I didn't have the stock on, I'd just be here to here but then this part would be kind of awkward just hanging out there. Um, yeah, so I put my symbol on it. Uh, this is what I'm going to start doing with these blasters. Um, uh, basically, it's an eight. It's an infinity sign. And it's uh, two different colors because it's supposed to represent two S's. Because my name on a lot of things is Silent Sniper. So that's what that is. I kind of just thought of that. It's infinity. Yeah, and so what I'll do on every one it'll be black and then the secondary color of what it is So I just decided to put it on the battery tray in here um, This thing runs off a 9 volt 
Um, it originally ran off uh, three double A's, and so now it has twice as much power. I calculated that out. Um, so all you have to do, if I decide to sell this, it'll be really user friendly because all you have to do is unscrew this, and there's um, a nine volt connector, and you just plug that in and tape it on because uh, the thing would be loose in here. I just taped it in with some e-tape. Um, so yeah, here it is. Uh, I cut off the trigger guard. There's a little hole right here where it was, but that's you know, whatever. I don't really care about that. That's not that big of a deal. Um, just a little hole there that you, can, you can't really see much of. Um, you can't really see much of it unless you're looking down on it, so it's not a big deal. Um, so yes, it has a 20 round turret. Um, you, can man you can rotate it with your fingers if the rounds are kind of messed up and you need to get one fast. You can just rotate it real quick like that. Um, yeah. So, I, all this is hand, hand painted, this is hand painted, all these, and this, except for this. This and this are not that color. Everything else is hand painted. It's hand painted on both sides. Um, so, yeah, it, 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 just, it may not be the cleanest thing in the world, like right here, I kind of messed up. Uh, I had to mask it because I had to repaint one of the sides of the shells because the paint decided to crack on me. Um, yeah, so it's not the cleanest deal in the world, but it's pretty nice for my first real blaster. Um, yeah, and so here I left this orange. This is the switch. Um, I'll go ahead and flip it on for you. So, yeah, it speeds up pretty fast. You don't have to wait long. But, yeah, if you're trying to be quiet, you should probably keep that off until you're ready to fire. Um... Yeah, so what I did here, here's the stock. What I did is I just simply cut up, took that part that goes like this on it, that yellow part that slides back and forth. I took that off, and then I cut this down. There wasn't, there was a little part here that I just completely cut off. And so it was just open originally, and so I wanted to put a good stock on here. So what I did is I just got a, a half-inch PVC coupler, put, uh, cut that in half, and sanded it down a little bit so it fit in here and just got some half inch PVC 90 degree elbow uh, half inch end cap and then just PVC cemented that in there and then uh, I hot glued I put some quick steel JB weld on there and then I put some Bondo on there yeah so this is one of my first blasters to work with Bondo on it um, I like it a lot but it is not as clean as I'd like it to be so that's all internal um what the sloppiest part of this blaster is probably right here um the back I just had to fashion this out of a, a storage bin just cut it out manually it's just a scrap piece of plastic basically and so I um it didn't fit completely flush with the back of this and so what I had to do I just hot glued around it but I can still I can still remove the both halves because the half glue is the glue is on this side. What I did is I glued it and then I just took this half off and all the glue came with this side. So it still looks like it's glued, but it's not. Um yeah. I know that's really sloppy, but I wanted to get this project done after having it for forever. I just got it done today, so I've just started doing this video because I was really excited to get this deal. I think y'all can see the whole thing, doesn't it? Yeah. Um so yeah, the stock here and yeah. So I didn't really do that much to it. Uh, I painted the rail here. The rail doesn't work with in-strike attachments. It's just for looks. Um, this is more of a looks than function blaster. Um, I was testing it out today with the new 9 volt, and uh, it's probably getting about, I'm trying to guesstimate, 35 feet flat maybe on good shots, I guess. Yeah, so um, if I were to use this, this would probably be my indoor primary. Um, it is a little clanky clank to use, but I mean, to reload. I don't know what I just said, but yeah, uh, it is kind of retarded to, uh, to reload because the darts, Busby darts, are not as long as uh, Nerf whistlers are. So what I had to do in the back, I had to just shave down the stop. So now it goes all the way through, through this. Um, You've got to be careful when you're loading this. It's kind of a pain to load because uh, you got to stick them in and make sure they don't go too far in or too far forward. Because if they're too far forward, then they'll scratch on this. And if too many catch, it just will stop working entirely. It'll, it, they catch on here uh, when it rotates, and it won't uh, get to the flywheels. Um, so, yeah, one thing I also did was I opened that up a little more. And that's all. Um, open this up a little more. That's also kind of sloppy, but that's all right. Um, 
So it is kind of a pain to load. This thing is more I'm mean, an, exper an experimental blaster for what I'm gonna do later. Not the next one, but the one that I think I'm gonna do after that. The one I'm gonna do next is gonna be a secondary blaster in the same color scheme, and uh, that's the one I'll use if I use this one. Um, I think y'all like it a lot. But anyway, staying on this topic, um, I'm sorry this took so long. I didn't think it would, but my Christmas break had been kind of clogged with a lot of stuff, and so I didn't have too much time to work on this. I thought I'd be able to get it done by then, but finally, here it is. Um, due to lack of supplies and other things like that. Um, the painting process on this was a pain. I had to I had to paint this probably this side four times because I know I because layers I did both sides one time and it looked good to me so I was like okay but then it started looking kind of uneven and so I wanted to do another paint job and so I painted it and then the paint cracked so that sucked so I had to redo it uh, redo this side and uh, so yeah I think one side of the shell has more paint on it than the other side but that's about it. Um, you can't really tell. I don't think you can tell on this camera anyway. Yeah, I'm using my old cameras down my iPhone, iPhone 5 because I wanted this video to be completely this camera uh, to keep it the same uh, web uh, frame size, you know, like on the on the page. And so, uh, also, I didn't have my iPhone 5 back then, so there you go. Um, yeah, so I like this blaster a lot. I'm pretty happy how it turned out. Um, I originally had a plan to maybe integrate something like a Tech 6 into here, but I think that would have been too much work, I just decided. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with how it turned out. And uh, oh yeah, one more thing. This is the stock. Anyway, yeah. So the stock is longer than it was. The original stock would only come out to about here, but now it's to here because I have kind of long arms, I guess. Um, and it's pretty comfortable now because you can just, whatever. And then the reason it's bent like this is so you can... So you can have it like this, but then if you need to go around a corner or something, you can go like this. So I'm going like this, and then I can just switch it to this. That's all it is. This to this. So this will go under my arm, and it'll be more comfortable, and it'll kind of lock. But you don't want to. You don't want to put too much stress on this. It's not very strong. I hate to say that, but that's how it is. Anyway, yeah. I'm uh, very, very happy with how this turned out. I may intend to sell this for in a later video when I get a store up, which I do intend to be doing too. Uh, my next video will probably be a few reviews of some of the new blasters I got, but um, I intend to be putting up a contract video if you don't know what that is. Um, basically what I do is I you tell me what you want. Like if you need a blaster for a war or something, like. You contact me, you tell me what you want, and I'll make it for you, but you have to pay me uh, the money and the shipping. So you can pay me to basically make blasters for you if you need to. I'll get to that in a later video. Yes, so this is the Nerf Redwood. Well, it's not Nerf, but it's the Redwood Blaster, completely customized by the Nerf Con 1, modified, everything else. Anyway, so yeah. This has been the Nerf Con 1 with a much awaited video of the Nerf Redwood. Thanks for watching.